Welcome to Biology Access. In today's video, we'll be talking about test scores. If you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe and press the like button and comment so that YouTube will recommend it to other users. Under Mendelian law, an ugly a pea plant, for example, that is tall can be homozygous for the tall gene or heterozygous for the tall gene. In that case, how will you know if it's homozygous or heterozygous? So you carry out a cross that you guide as what test cross. You cross the pea plant with a recessive or a short pea plant that is recessive, homozygous recessive for that trait. So in this case, we cross this. Let's assume that we don't know the genotype of this and this. So we just cross it with the recessive. This is the, this is the genotype, this is the gamut. And this is the gamut. You know how to get that. You can go and get it from my previous video on how to get gamut. Now, once you get your gamut, you put it under the usual Punet uh, square. This is the two gamut here. This one is here. This is here. And this is here. This is here. You cross. This one, you put it here. This, you put it here. This one, you put it here. And this, you put it here. So, you carry out the cross. The phenotypic ratio. This and this, they are tall. So, that is two. This and this, they are short. That is two. So it's two ratio two, which is the phenotypic ratio, which you can divide two by two and have one ratio one. The genotype, this and this is the same two, and this and this is the same two. But we can have a third genotype anyway, which is not present. We can decide to add ratio zero. But since it's not present, let me just remove it. So we can end up having one ratio one by dividing two by two. Then we also cross this with this. This is the gamut for this, and this is the gamut for this. This gamut, both of them are here, and this gamut, both of them are here. We repeat the same cross. This box, I put this here, and I put this here. For this box, I put this here, and I put this here. Now, this is the four offspring. In this four offspring, this is tall, this is tall, this is tall, this is tall. So, four of them are tall. There's none that is actually short, so zero short. Why? For the genotype, the genotype can be this, can be this, or can be heterozygous. So, for this is zero, for this is also zero, but for this is four. Now, if you carry out a cross, if you don't know um, the genotype of a tall pea plant, for example, and you carry out a cross between between that pea plant and a short one, and half of the pea plant is actually short, half of them is short and half of them is tall, it means that this pea plant is actually heterozygous for that tall gene. While if you carry out between the tall and the short, and all the other ones are actually tall. It means that this pea plant is actually what homozygous for this tall gene. So, using this test cross method, you are able to what deduce the genotype of the tall offspring. We can also repeat the same thing for the the hybrid test cross. Now, if you carry out the cross between this and this, this one is actually heterozygous for this tall gene, and this is heterozygous for the size. This one is homozygous, homozygous recessive. If you carry out the cross, you can go and check out my previous video for how to get the gamut. You will realize that this is gamut from this, and this is the gamut for this. Now, you put this form here, and you put this four here, and you use your Punnett square as usual. In this box, I'll put this one here, this here. Then I'll put the next, this here, and this here. You can check my video on how to carry out crossing. You realize, you get details of how to do that. Now, you realize that if you carry if you do the same for this space, you still get the same thing. Put this here, and you put this here, you put this here, you put this here. So if you carry out the cross, you realize that in this place, in this column, this one is tall, and this is actually shrubby or fat. All here. So you have four phenotypes. Now this one is tall, but this one in the size is small. So we have all the same thing, four here. This one is short, but the size is what? Shrubby or fat. All the same thing here. And this one is short and this one is small in size or so this is the same here so we have four ratio four ratio four ratio four and when you divide two by four you have one ratio one ratio one ratio one the genotypic ratio is still the same thing this genotype everything here is the same thing as here what is here and what is here so you have four ratio four ratio four ratio four one ratio one ratio one now take note which you must note for test cross for test cross you always realize that if you cross the Heterozygous with the homozygous recessive, the ratio for this place is two ratio to one, one ratio one, the same. Now, if you repeat the same thing for the hybrid cross, 
you see how far you should fall, you should fall, you should fall. Why you should want? So in this case, if you are asked, what is the probability of having an organism when you cross this with this, of having an organism that is tall and what fat or shabby? The answer here, the required atom, the formula for probability is usually required outcome all over what total outcome. Please take note. Formula for probability again is required outcome all over total outcome. So the required outcome in this place is tall and large in size or chubby. So one, two, three, four, which we have here as four is four. And the total outcome is all sustained, sustained, which our answer is now one all over four. And the final answer is you can leave your answer as one over for all 0 0.25 or in percentages actually 25 what percent so you can calculate for any of the stuff you want if i now ask you for example what is the probability of having a number that is tall and large inside or chubby or short and small in size so in this case this or this so all is addition so you cannot add one you know that the one for Tall and large is 1 all over 4. So it's 1 all over 4. Then the 1 for this is 1 to 3, 4, which is the same thing as 4 all over 16, which will end up as 1 all over 4, which is again 1 all over what? 4. Our final answer will now be 2 all over 4 and 1 over 2. This is for either tall and fat or short and small or slender, I don't know how you want to put it. So thank you for watching my video. Please, if you know there is any area you are not clear with, just drop it in the comment section. I will kindly reply to your questions. Thank you.